the edge of the platform by the Daily Ghost. A train station in December evening is a bleak place for an old man to find himself, with ice on the benches and snow in the wind. My only companion was a youth loitering on the platform. I'm not shy of making conversation, so I called to him. Bitter, isn't it? He hovered at the edge, looking down at the rails. He was very young, thin-faced, in need of a haircut, with only a light jacket against the cold. Cigarette. I offered him embassy filters, and he took one. I lit it for him. He said, Not smoking yourself? I smiled. Not any more. Turns out they're bad for you. He laughed and returned to the edge of the platform. <laughs> so what? Truth to tell, I'm thinking of ending it. Jumping in front of the mail train. His eyes widened in surprise. He nodded. I eased my old bones onto the bench. I said, tell me what happened. He took brisk drawers on the cigarette, which glowed in the darkness. Told someone I love him. They didn't take it well. He laughed a short, bitter laugh that sounded older than his years. <laughs> no, no, he didn't. I thought about that and then asked, What's his name, this boy of yours? Got another smoke? I lit another for him. Sid smokes embassy. That's my friend, Sid Roundtree. He corrected himself. He, he was my friend. He, um, didn't take it well. He laughed his humorous laugh again. They don't, do they? He said a lot of things. And with sudden fury, he threw the cigarette into the tracks, leaving sparks in the night. A lot of true things. I heaved myself up from the bench. I don't think they were true things, I told him. I think your friend loves you. I think he'll always love you. The young man stared at me as the mail train thundered by. He smiled. The train shadow rushed over the platform, and when it passed, he was gone. My phone buzzed. Nancy's shrill voice said, Dad, where are you? At the station. Sydney George Roundtree, she said, imitating her mother's scolding tone. What are you doing at the station at this time of night? I watched the train lights disappear into the swirling snow. Talking to an old friend, I replied.